Okay, folks, we're still here in our architecture model, and right now we're going to look at uh, rooms and uh, in architectures, rooms, and other uh, disciplines and spaces. So let's just go over here and go into architecture tab where you see rooms, and let's just go place these tags in the rooms. What was going on there? So let's place one here. Now, I think, you know, let's undo this. I think we need to add another room for our electrical, uh, our electrical room where we're going to place our panel. So let's go wall, and let's make this one, this could be a five inch, probably not by code, but let's just do it anyway. Let's just make a wall. Let's make another room right here. This will be our electrical room. We'll place a door on the, going from this direction. It will be entered from the warehouse architectural door. We'll place a, a regular door right there. This is going to be our electrical room. Let's check the size of that. Nine, nah, that's good enough. So now, we have all of our rooms that we're going to use in this project. I'm just going to say these are bathrooms. We're not going to fill it in. You can if you like. We can always come back later. So now what we'll do is we'll go to the architecture tab where we have rooms. So we'll place a room area here. One here. This will be a room. This. This. And this. So now what happens here is, I don't know why this is doing this, but let's just go in and check this room here. So I can check the room. And for some reason it's going, it's not bounded. So what I want to do is I want to go here and um, this is something good to know, do a room separator. And in the draw panel, let's just go from this point, this, this there. And then we can place our room, since we have it separated, we can place a room right there. Okay, now we have our rooms placed in number. Oh, there's another room. Let's do these other two rooms here. Our warehouse room, let's go um, architecture room, and that's going to be the warehouse. And this is going to be, well, we'll just make these up as we go along. So there's our rooms. Now, from previous exercises, you know how to name these rooms. So let's go into our room tab, our room number eight, and just call this warehouse. call this conference room I guess let's say conference and then we can go here and we can call this uh, office I think we might want to remove this door here too. I don't see why we need it there now. We can go over here and call this uh say men's sort of right. Uh, this ladies we call this our utility room and 
this will be a general office. This will be just an office space. We'll click OK. So now we have our rooms numbered and tagged. And we have our new walls in our architectural model. So that should do it for a room tag. You should notice. Now we might want to delete our receptacles out because we don't need them. They're going into another model. That's when to change the scale of this. So now we have our architectural done. So we'll shut the architectural down. Here's the review. Whoops, see what happened there. And we want to drop this guy down to this back. Let's just do this. Let's just go here. Do a match. 3D do it. 3D view helps a lot because you can see really what's happening. Modify, you want to match. You want to match this wall with these walls here. So there's our architectural. Now let's go close this one. I'm going back to 3D view. I'm going to show you this. Let's go over here. Let's go to view. High hidden, close hidden views. Close this. And yes. Now we want to return to our structural model. Let's have a look at our 3D view. And there's our new rooms and new elements that we placed in our uh, architectural model. Notice we don't see the cell. It's because we want this model. But anyway, um, that's all for this one. We're going to go in and do more structure and architectural. So in the meantime, thank you for watching. And let's keep going on, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, and have a good night. Bye.